Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> y'all probably like, where she said that now? Y'all, I'm gonna get my rent's worth in this apartment. I'm gonna get my rent's worth in this apartment. Every corner of this apartment shall be used. Okay? And rent was due today, April 1st. Yeah, every corner of this apartment will be used. But today, I wanted to come on here really quickly and show y'all some of my Sephora faves because the Sephora event is happening on the 5th. April 5th. So I wanted to come on here and show y'all my facts because a lot of people asked me and they seriously did ask me. You know how sometimes we say a lot of people ask and literally two people ask. This time, at least 10 people asked me <laughs> my Sephora faves and all of these items I bought with my own coin. Only one thing was gifted to me. So I want to come on here real quick and show y'all what some of my faves are. What some of my faves are and what I think you should look into. I'm not telling you to go run and get nothing. Okay? Rent was just due. Rent was just due. But I'm only coming on here to tell y'all my faves. And if y'all want to go get them, go get them, girl. Go get them. Y'all know this is going to be unbiased because ain't nobody pay for it but me. Me. I paid it all. Okay? So let's get into the video real quick. And I put all of my faves in this little basket here. So... Let's get into it. With perfumes, skincare, all of that doohickey, right? So first up is the Sol de Janeiro. This, mm, these are my first Sol de Janeiro products. And as you could tell, I got minis because I was unsure. But baby, this is number 59. It has a warmth of a sunset with uplifting notes, vanilla orchid, sugar violet, and sheer sandalwood. She's good. And then the body butter, hydrating. Y'all know I very rarely venture out for my Nivea, but she's really that girl. So if you want to try it out, try it out. She's chef's kiss, okay? The next skincare item that I have, and y'all know, if you don't know, I am a sucker for belief. Belief. Sucker. Sunscreen. Moisturizer, Aquabomb. My girlies told me about this moisturizer, um, and baby, is she good? It's a gel-like moisturizer. Um, it's super, 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 super hydrating. She smells really good. This was the Aqua Bomb Chef's Kiss. And then I also love their two in one SPF. It's a sunscreen and a moisturizer. So, belief. Yes, 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 yes. Then my last skincare item. Let me go get it. These are the, this is the other items that I went to go grab. This was gifted to me the Kiehl's UV Better, Better Screen UV Serum. It is a sunscreen with SPF 50 and with collagen peptide. And y'all, how the girls do it? This was gifted to me, but baby, when I tell you she's really that girl, she's really that girl. She doesn't leave any type of white cast. She's moisturizing. It gives me that, that glow that I need. I don't use this one underneath my makeup because it may get too oily unless I'm trying to do a dewy face. And I don't really do dewy faces because I'm a oily girl. <laughs> but she, chef's kiss. I also do like the Glow Recipe Watermelon Toner, Pore Tight Toner. She's really good as well. I know it don't look like I used a lot of it. <laughs> but a little goes a long way. So this is really good too. I should just get the one ounce. Y'all know I'm a stand for one ounce products. If you don't know if one ounce, if you don't know if the product is gonna work, if it comes in a mini, buy a mini. Okay, that is your that is your tidbit for Sephora sale. If you've never tried it and it comes in a mini, get a mini. Okay, don't go all willy nilly spending fifty dollars on a product and you're gonna hate it. Granted, you can return it, but why return it when you could have just got the mini to begin with? Now you laugh. <laughs> So those are my things that I am enjoying skincare wise. So let's get into makeup. Y'all, I don't do I don't do a whole bunch when it comes to skincare. The simpler, the better for me. Toner, moisturizer, um, a cleanser, sunscreen. 
Oh, I forgot one more holy grail item. Hold oh, please. <laughs> now I don't know how in heaven's name I would forever forget Dr. Dennis. I don't know how I would ever forget Dr. Dennis. Dr. Dennis grows universal daily pill pads. They are pricey, but baby, they work. I think you get about 35 treatments for $100. They work. I will replenish these always when it comes to my skincare routine. These will get replenished always. When it comes to my skincare routine, baby, she's good. This is my first time doing the regular ones. I usually get the sensitive skin version because I was scared my face was going to melt off. But I did perfectly fine with sensitive skin. So I went in and got the regular. She's too good. I don't even know. This should have been my first thing that I talked about in skincare. But yes, these are a must grab. All right. Let's get into the makeup. I'm trying to record on two different devices. So if you see my eyes shifting, let's just let's get into the makeup. We're going to start with my girl. Mm, mm, mm. Miss Vanessa Myricks. Miss Vanessa Myricks. She truly understands the dark skin girlies, the melanated girlies. She did her big one with all of her products, okay? I got several. This one was gifted to me when I went to her um, Get Ready With Me tour last year. And baby, she's good. I haven't dibbled in all of the colors, but you see the ones that I have dibbled in. My bark is at pan at point. Listen, she's good. It's like a velvet um, formula as well as a powdered formula. And oh, she took her time, y'all. And when I say pigmented, it pigmented. I use bark for my eyebrows. I use tourmaline for my eyeliners. I use cork, um, not cork, core to clean up my brows. And you can use all of these for other little things. Y'all know that I'm um, a little slow when it comes to makeup, but this makes it easy for my beginner friendly girlies when we just trying to figure this shit out. Okay, <laughs> trying to figure it out. That's one thing of Miss Vanessa, okay? The other thing that I love, boom, Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum, and I have mine in the shade Main Squeeze. She's so good. This is a glow serum priming face serum. So I use this in lieu of my primer to give me that extra glow when I just want to look like cheekbone glistening. She's so, she's so cute. And it comes in different shades too, but mine is in the shade Main Squeeze. And it's like a cute, let me see if y'all can see. Can't waste my products, but it's in a cute little, a cute shade. So, Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Glow Serum. And then the next, Danessa, this is what I have on right now. <laughs> This is what I have on right now. Danessa girl. Danessa. Danessa. This. Yummy skin tint. Serum skin tint. I got this on right now. Y'all, this is going to be my holy grail in these spring and summer months because I do not like wearing foundation in the heat, baby, because I am a sweater. And then your makeup is running down your face. Your face is just feeling hot. The pores is feeling clogged. I'm not that type of girl, but this right here, she put blood, sweat, and tears in this one. <laughs> she put blood, sweat, and tears in this one. I have this one now. I did a quick 10-minute beat to come and sit in front of this camera and stay on schedule today. All I used was this, that girl, and another Holy Grail product, my Sephora Best Skin Ever Full Coverage Multi-Use Concealer. This bad boy right here. The best skin ever. These are gonna be my Holy Grail this summer. I'm just gonna look too cute like I look. I didn't do my brows because, you know, 
but these two too good the Desimirix serum skin tint and I am in the shade 14 so I probably need to add this in my I need to get some more box <laughs> and then my Sephora best skin ever concealer I have it in the shade 59 in both of these products chef's kiss and sephora is a inexpensive brand but i know a lot of people are probably sleep on sephora because it is a sephora brand but baby their products are good don't sleep on it their products are extremely good so try them out next on the docket how's i say next is another brand that i absolutely love yeah nars 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 love it my favorite foundation from nars is the soft matte complete foundation i have mine in the shade nambia deep four so good she looks so good on me i mean melts into the skin but this is not something that i wear in the summertime because baby she's not heavy but she's just heavy for me i need something more lightweight for the summer for myself but if I'm doing full glam, NARS will be my go-to. And then the concealer I have in Deep One Cafe. And this is just a regular NARS concealer. Love this one as well. This is a good, another good everyday um, concealer that I absolutely love. So NARS has my heart as well. These are must-haves. And this, I slick think I need to add to my cart for a replenish, but I just replenished on my mini and full of the concealer, so I don't really need that. Then, another fade that is a recent pickup for me is Hourglass. This Hourglass concealer, I have this in the shade Hourglass. I have this in the shade Mocha. And I use this as a highlighting. I use like maybe my Sephora or NARS and then I use this to lighten my under eyes just a little bit. Um, and she's really good. Talk about full coverage. She's really good. Pricey, but she's good. So I suggest it. Only if you want it though. But if you looking for something that's more budget friendly, best skin ever, Sephora, and just get a lighter shade. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. I ain't no makeup artist. <laughs> Another makeup fave. And I don't have many, y'all, because y'all know I'm getting into makeup, but I'm also not a makeup artist. I have plenty of blushes, but I don't thoroughly know how to use them yet, so I can't. But if you want a pigmented blush, Danessa. Danessa Myers. All of her products are products that you need a pinch of, and it'll go a long way. So, try Danessa, My Danessa Myrick's blushes. Chef's kiss. Another product that I love is Miss Fenty Beauty. And I use this as a bronzer. <laughs> this is the Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation in the color 470. And I just pack this like little compact in my purse especially during the hotter months powder my nose powder my cheeks powder powder so if i'm oily but she's really good as well this is the only fancy product that i have right now because i the I, for some reason the skin tints and the um dew drops just did not match well with my skin complexion so i don't know maybe i'll try them again but we'll see then Summer Fridays. I don't really like this shade. I didn't know it was going to come out orange. But I swear on Summer Fridays. They have some really great lip balm. Chef's Kiss. Okay. Love Summer Fridays lip balm. I've tried a lot of them between this one and the e.l.f. lip oil. Those are probably my favorites when it comes to a balm or an oil. So, Summer Fridays, if you can get your hand on it. The vanilla one and I want to try the sweet mint that one's in my cart to pick up for the Sephora sale so yeah and when it comes to fragrances I picked up two because y'all know I am a mini girl I am a mini girl through and through but these two fragrances 
I know I was going to pick up this one for the Sephora sale because baby, she's empty. She's an empty, okay? She's empty. So I, I was going to pick this up when I did my big old Sephora perfume haul, but I decided to wait so I can get a coupon on this because she's expensive. This little bottle was $100. She was $100. So I'm going to definitely replenish this for the Sephora sale and get a bigger one. And then this little mama right here, this Kayali Pistachio Gelato. Too good. Y'all, she is too, too good. This better got it. Okay. Um, the Pistachio Gelato, she smells so good. She has Pistachio Gelato, Hazelnut, Sweet Rum, Whipped Cream, Marshmallow, and Cotton Candy. I didn't think I was going to like this, and then I sprayed it on a stick in the store and absolutely fell in love with it. She smells so good. Just like sweet, spring, summer, get ate up. But somebody told me on my live today that TJ Maxx sells the oil that I can mix with this. So I need to go find it because she smells too good. And then the Burberry Goddess is definitely a vanilla scent. I don't know the notes, but I know it got vanilla in it. Okay. Yeah. So those are my Sephora must-have. Some of these I'm going to uh, replenish. But those are the ones that I swear by that I spent my own money on that make a difference for me. Now, granny, it's things that I like, y'all may not like. So, just, oh. And then it's one size. Finally got my hand on this, and I love this. I love this. It, this does really well for me when it comes to keeping my makeup on and I don't get as oily as quick. So, she's good too. It don't sound like I got that much on her in here. So I might need to also add this to my cart to replenish. So, yeah, this one size setting spray. I do want to try the one size primer, but it's been out of stock. So I'm going to check my Sephora app and see if it's back in stock and replace, not replace, get another one of these and add the primer to my cart as well. But yeah, that's all I have in my Sephora cart because y'all know I don't have a whole bunch of makeup. I don't have a whole bunch of skincare, but I'm getting into it. But those are my everyday phase. Like I use those religiously and I replenished a good majority of them. So yeah, now let's get into what's in my actual cart. So I'm going to add a screen recording to the screen of what I actually have in my Sephora cart currently. And some are some replenish and some are some new products that I've been seeing that I kind of want to try. Now, will I get all this stuff? Probably not. Probably not. <laughs> I don't know. I have 13 items in my cart. So don't know much about these products, but I just want to show y'all what's in here. So the first thing is Pat McGrath. I don't own anything Pat McGrath. But she's black on. So I do want to try her lipstick in the color Honey Haze. When I saw that $40 price tag for lipstick. Ah, but I do want to try it. I've also always, I mean, I've tried Charlotte Tilbury several, several times. The Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. But I have not replenished it in a while. But I think I'm going to go to back and get another bottle of it because... I don't know if it's just me, but once my skin adjusts to stuff, it just don't eat as good. So I'm going to go back and get Charlotte Tilbury. And then somebody told me to mix it with one size and she don't move. My, my face, she don't move. So I do want to try that. Summer Fridays, like I already said, definitely want to try that. Sweet Mint, because they said it remind me. I don't know if y'all remember, Bath & Body Works used to sell a lip gloss, lip balm. And I used to be obsessed. Like... Every time I was about to get one free, I was there getting four. The lip balm, the mints, the eucalyptus. If y'all, um, y'all might not be old enough. But it's too good. It's too good. And somebody told me the Summer Friday Sweet, sweet Mint is something very, very similar to it. So I want to try that. Um, I've also been seeing a lot of people talk about this Caudalie, um Beauty Elixir 
Prep Set Glow Face Mist. I want to try, but I'm also going to get the small bottle because I don't want a big bottle of something that I'm not going to like. So I have the small bottle of the Caudalie Beauty Elixir. I'm going back to Milk. I love the e.l.f. Primer, Hydro Grip Primer, but I'm going back to Milk Hydro Grip Primer and probably use them in lieu of, but that Milk Primer is just chef's kiss. You know, being cheap. E.l.f. is good too. Don't get me wrong. She's good too, but I used to mix the e.l.f. and the Milk together and the face don't move. Okay, the face don't move. That elf will always be replenished, though. Uh-huh. That elf power grip will always be replenished because she's too good. She's $10. Uh, yeah, and she's really good. The next product I want to try is the Inky List because, baby, I'm a makeup white girl. Sorry to the estheticians. I'm a makeup white girl. Okay? Some days, I just want to come home Get that makeup off, wash my face, and go to bed. But y'all say it's bad for you. <sighs> so I want to get a cleansing balm. So people, I hear a lot of people talk about the Inky List, the Oat Makeup Removing Cleansing Balm, and then I've also seen the Pharmacy brand as well. So I don't have the Pharmacy one in my cart. I might add it, but the Inky List Oat Makeup Removing Balm is only thirteen dollars. So I'm gonna try that one. I'm trying to get rid of the makeup wipes but i'm still gonna replenish them just in case then i also want to try huda is it huda 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 beauty her easy bake i've been seeing it all over social media her powders but i don't know if i'm getting the right shade because i want a colored powder like i have laura mercier and honey and i have the one size in translucent but the translucent is just a little too white and cakey on my skin complexion so i want to get a shaded powder so i wanted to try to huda, huda beauty huda beauty huda beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder and i put in my cart the shade kunafa but i don't know if that's going to be too orange i don't know maybe i'll go and see if they have it in stock somewhere and see if that's the right shade then, y'all know how much I love a good mascara. My favorite mascara is Bad Girl Bang. But I've been hearing a lot of things about the Refi Lash Sculpt Lengthen and Lift Mascara. The girl said it was good on TikTok. And I want to try it. I want to try it. So, um, I want to try that one out. And just off the brush alone, I feel like it's going to give the lengthen and lift that you need. But we'll see. Because Telescopic by L'Oreal... And Bad Girl Bang by Benefit, they have my heart. Okay, they have my heart. The next thing in my list is the Sephora Collection Micro Smooth Multitasking Face Powder Foundation. I want to try it because everybody keeps talking about it, but I don't know if I properly know how to use it. And I also don't know if Sienna is my right shade. So, yeah, I might have to go in Sephora again as well and see what shade I would be. Then of course, I need to re-up on my Believe Moisturizer. It's not empty, but for 20% off, cause I am a Rouge member. Maybe not, that's not a flex, cause that means I spent a lot of money. <laughs> that means I spent a lot of money, okay? But I'm a Rouge member. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and re-up while I can, but they have the Dive Into Hydration Set for Belief for only $38 and you get a full size moisturizer. Why not? Why not? So you get a full size moisturizer, you get an eye cream, a toner, and a cleanser, a jelly cleanser for $38, please. Yeah, so I just added this set into my cart so I can still get my full size moisturizer the Danessa Myricks Beauty Mattifying Water Powder Serum yeah I'm getting it I don't even know what to do but Danessa Myricks name is on it so I know it's good so <laughs> getting it then House Labs I hear a lot of great things about House Labs products in, ge in general especially like their foundations and things of that nature so I want to try the House Labs foundation. I did the shade match on Sephora website, 
I don't know how accurate it was, but they told me to get 500 deep natural. So I want to try that foundation, medium coverage. And then I want to try the Lip Glaze Plumping Gloss, gloss in the shade Macaron. 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 So, yeah, my cart total is giving sugar daddy. But I don't have one of those. So, we may have to take some things out. But those are the things that are currently on my list to grab. Um, so, yeah. These are my Sephora things, y'all. These are my Sephora things. I'm going to link everything that I love below and then link everything that I actually want as well. So this is a quick little video. It's probably still going to be 20 minutes because I don't know how to shut up. I'm sorry. But y'all know I love y'all. And guess what? Because I am a Rouge member, Sephora, and they're not paying me to say this. This is just something nice that I want to do. Sephora is giving us a code where we can gift somebody 20% off of their Sephora card as well. How cool is that? So, I'm thinking about doing a little giveaway of a code. <laughs> Not a giveaway, but picking someone to give the 20% off code to. So, y'all in the comment section, interact, like, comment, subscribe, um, and tell me what y'all are getting from Sephora. And I'm gonna pick somebody on Friday to use the 20% off code. How cool is that? And you have you of course you can't be a rogue rouge. I don't know how to say rogue rouge. You can't be a rouge member, of course. But I'm gonna pick somebody to give my 20% off code to so they can get 20% off their Sephora card too. What y'all think? I know y'all y'all like that idea. Y'all like that idea. So make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell. And in the comments, because I'm going to pick one of y'all by Thursday and send y'all the code. So by Friday, you can check out your cart or go in store, whatever you want to do. Leave a list down below of what your product, your favorite products are. Maybe some things I should add to my cart or maybe some things that you're thinking about purchasing. Okay. And I'm going to pick my winner on Thursday and I'm going to send you the code. And make sure you're following me on Instagram because that's the place where I'll send you your code. Okay. And tag your Instagram handle in the comment as well. Okay. But thank y'all for tuning into my channel. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. We working. We working. And happy shopping. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Check up on it, ride it, it